Hi, it's David Gaum in Stained Glass Studio, and I thought it might be interesting to you if I showed you how I uh, did some woodwork. Um, I'm working on a piece that is completely unique, and you probably would never want to, uh, to build one yourself, but you might be interested in some of the what do you call them, the techniques and, and procedures that I go through. Now, um, the, yesterday I started working on it, um, but I wanted you to know that I don't just work on something without plans. So here's my goofy plans. And yeah, see, they're goofy plans. They're just, you know, but you know, then I got to thinking it's just 3D and so it's harder to draw with your pencil in 3D and I don't have one of those programs that will help me to do it so I have to use my brain. So now you'll be able to tell which ones I did yesterday and which ones I do today because right now I don't have any sawdust on me and I'm wearing a different shirt. So we're going to proceed on and I've I'll let you know how it goes. <laughs> okay, I've got my dado set so that this piece and this piece, you know, they line, they line up and they're nice and flat, so that means both sides are the right depth.
All right, so for this part now, this these have dried, so I need to cut another board that will fit in between. And so I've got, I'm just marking a line here. Ooh, and so that is the distance that I need to fill that hole. So this is the bracket for the short one and this is the bracket for the long one. And as soon as the paint's dried, I'm going to flip it over and there's a little place I'm going to glue, put some glue in because the piece of wood had a defect in it and it hasn't broken off yet, but I want to make sure it's strong. Well, here we are. We're close. Uh, as you can see, there are words etched into this piece. This is the part of the words. The title of this is Feast Upon the Word. And so now we're ready to put it into the frame. Now, um, I've got a little temporary block stuck under there, so we'll stand up. And now this should... Okay, now I'm going to just silicone a little bit around the top and bottom so that it'll stay. Now, just for fun, I'll get the other one. Chini says it's feast upon the Lord or feast upon the word. Mm -hmm. Feast upon the word. Um, of course, 
I guess what happens is this part folds down onto your table and then the words just fall down onto your plate. Is that it? <laughs> is that, yeah, because, because they're... So you can kind of look in here and see the words. Or you can look through and it'll be a surprise to see the words right through there. Can you see them? Sort of? And you kind of look. Yeah. And I, and I really particularly like this one. Because this one is the one that says set the table. Mm -hmm. And I can just see your mother standing there with a wooden spoon. Set the table. <laughs> Good job, David. Okay, now we got to silicone them in. Okay. Well, it just seems like there's just one more thing and then one more thing and then one more thing on this project. Um, over here, you can see that we've added some copper uh, embellishments here. And that was because these windows shook and they were kind of wobbly. But now that we've put a, an embellishment on both sides, they're much more strong. They're a lot more stout. See, I can. They don't wobble around, so I'm not scared. I'm not afraid to break of breaking them. Well, you may think. Okay. Well, you may have th thought that this was a very long video, but believe me, before it was edited and then edited the second time. It was a lot longer. Anyhow, I hope it's been kind of fun for you. Thanks for sticking with us. We really appreciate you watching the video to the end. Uh, I hope that you've subscribed and rung the bell. And uh, if you like the video, feel free to hit like on the, on the button on YouTube there. Thanks a lot. Mm -hmm.